Uh, Mr. Como was convicted yesterday by Montgomery County jury for aggravated kidnapping in the TDC J Guard kidnapping case from about a year and a half ago. The jury then considered punishment evidence today including his prior criminal history, his conduct in prison and assessed a 60 year sentence. It's an aggravated sentence meaning that he'll have to serve at least half of it before he becomes eligible for parole. The judge, Judge Hamilton, stacked the sentence on top of his prior convictions, meaning that he will have to conserve those sentences completely before he begins serving these. Uh, some people have wondered why try a case like this if a person is serving uh, several life sentences already. And I think that the answer is, is because we, we want to make sure that people don't get away with committing crimes. By not prosecuting a case when somebody commits a crime in your county, you're sending a message that we don't take cases seriously. So number one, we don't want to send the message to prisoners that they're not going to get prosecuted when they commit additional crimes. Number two, even with a life sentence, a person is still going to be eligible for parole at some point in the future. Um, in fact, uh, Mr. Como may have been up for parole as early as 2050 uh, for his prior convictions. This conviction will, in will ensure that he will not be eligible for parole for an additional 30 years on top of that. So that takes his parole eligibility date to 2080. So we did have a significant interest in prosecuting those cases, both to send a message to the inmates that they need to behave themselves, also to ensure that Mr. Como doesn't get out of prison anytime soon as a result of the stack sentence in this particular case. So we're pleased uh, with the jury's verdict, we're pleased with the outcome in the case, and we think that we've ensured that Mr. Como will never see open society again as long as he lives. The last thing is <clears throat> uh, the prosecutors trying the case spoke with the jurors. Uh, the jurors indicated that the reason they gave a 60-year sentence was because they wanted to send a message to Mr. Como uh, that they're giving him some credit for releasing the guards without injuring them. So they said that they gave him 60 instead of life uh, because they wanted to give him some credit for releasing the two TDCJ guards. Without. This case was tried in Montgomery County because right outside of the courthouse where I'm standing, the two victims in this case, the TDCJ guards, were abducted and kidnapped at gunpoint by Mr. Como. Uh, the defendant had smuggled a gun into his property as he was being transferred from one prison. Uh, so because the crime was committed in Montgomery County, uh, we had jurisdiction to prosecute the case. We worked with TDCJ uh, officials to obtain records and documentation about how we may have obtained the weapon, and uh, as a result, we prosecuted the case here. He could have been prosecuted in other counties because he was found in Harris County, because he escaped from Walker County, but because the most of the offense occurred here in Montgomery County, this was the most appropriate venue for the prosecution of Mr. Como. Uh, Mr. Como uh, conducted this offense in Montgomery County in front of the courthouse. He drove on the North Freeway, Interstate 45 here in Montgomery County. He discharged his firearm in Montgomery County and he basically succeeded with his kidnapping plot here in Montgomery County, giving us primary jurisdiction in the case. Now whether or not other counties want to prosecute him for committing an aggravated kidnapping or escape in their jurisdictions, that's up to them, but I suspect that this case will take care of it for this transaction for Mr. Como.